my name is Cheryl and I'm a crafty little chicky. Today I'm going to be showing you the tutorial on how to crochet the number one. And this goes along with my tutorial for my Counting Sheep Shell Stitch Baby Blanket. In a previous uh, tutorial I had just shown you how to make this sheep applique. This being its little black nose and this being its really poofy really needing a haircut kind of body and then the legs are just some chains but there's also going to be a number on each sheep as if counting sheep to fall asleep that is the idea of the blanket um, the numbers are actually in black on my blanket you can make them whatever color you want but black is a very hard color to show up on camera so I will be showing you this tutorial in this beige yarn all right so this, like I said, I use a Red Heart Comfort black yarn or whatever worsted weight black yarn that you use. The supplies that you will need or the tools that you will need for this blanket or for this uh, tutorial is a crochet hook, letter E or 3.5, scissors, a stitch marker, I use a bobby pin, and a yarn needle. Okay, so we can get started. Okay, so to get started, you need to yarn onto your hook. So the way that I do that is I wrap it around twice around my pointer finger, wrap the top on top of the bottom, top on top of bottom on top of bottom again till it goes over your finger and then put the hook in and tighten. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a chain of 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So you'll be able to see all those chains. Every little V is one chain. This yarn ball is going to get... <laughs> I very rarely have a yarn ball in a circle or in a ball like that. So it always wants to run away on you. Okay, so after 16 chains, we want to double crochet in the second chain from the hook. So this is the first one here. You never count the one that's on your hook already. First one, second one. All right, so you double crochet into that first one. And then your next one is you're gonna double crochet six together. So you yarn over, pull through and go through that first, the next uh, chain, yarn over and pull through your first two, but rather than finishing your stitch, you're gonna leave those two on there. And you're gonna do that for each of the next five remaining stitches as well. So the second one, go through the chain, Yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through the only the first two. Do this again for the third one. Yarn over, go through, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through the first two only. So after the third stitch, we have four on our hook. So the fifth one, go through the next chain, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through the first two stitches on your hook. So now we have five loops. The last one, yarn over, go through the next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through the first two on your hook. So now you should have six loops on your hook. So you wanna yarn over and pull through all six of those. Then make it a little bit tight. <clears throat> so what we're going to be doing now is six double crochets, one in each of the next six stitches. One, it's a little hard to see this one because it wants to curl up on you, but so we've done one, two, three, four, five, 
and six. This will curl up on you a lot here. Um, but we've done one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so then we're going to, what we're going to do next, we're going to just leave these last three chains alone and we're going to chain an additional three on this end. And then we're going to go into the second chain, not the first one, but the second one. We're going to double crochet into that second chain. Okay, if I can find it there, there we are. So double crochet into that stitch. And then this first chain that you made here, you want to do a double crochet into that one as well. Okay, so now we're going to be putting some stitches into this post here, this last double crochet post before we turned off. So the first one we can do right in the top here. There's that gap and there's the one string there. Go right into that hole. So we're going to do a double crochet right into there. Then the next stitch, we're going to actually make up a stitch and it's going to be right in the middle. You don't want to go in between here because then it just pulls the whole two parts apart and then there's a big gap there. There's already going to be a little bit of a gap, uh, which when you're stitching on you can easily hide. Okay, so we're going to double crochet into the middle of this post. Just put your hook right through the middle of it and it will create a stitch for you. Yarn over and pull through. and finish your double crochet. So that one's a little bit of a different stitch. It's always a certain place that you're supposed to put your hook, right? Uh, but that one just kind of jam it right into the middle of the double crochet post there. And then we're going to put one into the bottom here. This was technically the last chain that you did this double crochet in. So we're going to put one more in there. Okay, so then we're going to do a double crochet in this first chain here. Uh, the, your, actually, your original chain. Okay, so then we're going to be doing one more double crochet into the next. It's the second last chain. And that would be my dog stretching and yawning, if you could hear that. A little bit of a drama queen, especially when I'm not paying attention to her. Okay, so then into the last stitch here, we're going to be doing a single crochet. So if you need to find it, sometimes you can pull your string and then it makes it a little bit clearer. Right there, that last string going over. I'm going to be doing a single. We've been doing doubles all along, but we're going to do a single into that last stitch. So you can see here, that you have the number one. Sometimes it takes a little bit of kind of stretching and setting and because they're all such tiny stitches and they all want to curl around, but you can block it or you can iron it with a mist on your iron setting. But that is your number one. So what you can do is you can um, put your hook back onto the loop to finish it here. Um, I usually give myself a fairly long tail because I'm going to be using this tail to sew this whole thing on to the sheep. Because right, this is going to be my number one. Each of them will have a big number on them. One through ten. And that's another reason why they increasingly get bigger as well because the number ten will need a bigger one to fit it all on there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to give ourselves a really long tail. And then just slip stitch and tighten. And what you can do is you can just sew in those ends. And like I said earlier, mine on this pattern on top of the sheep will be black, but this is to show the stitches a little bit better. All right. So I'll also be doing um, tutorials for 
crocheting numbers two through zero as well. So you can find those on my channel as well. Thanks so much for watching. I would appreciate it if you would like this channel and or subscribe to my channel as well. Thanks so much.